Guys, if you've ever bought a dog, owned a dog, loved a dog, cared about a dog, then you know how hard it is to get a dog to do what you want it to do. People call it commands, we call it love. And love above all things. <laughs> Oh, what's, what's, what's a good book say? If you love your neighbor like you love yourself, this do away with the rest of the commandments. Isn't that crazy? Ten commandments and in the New Testament, it says, just love your, your neighbor like you love yourself. Now here's the problem, most people don't love themselves. Guys, we got a hard-headed dog. <laughs> we got a dog here that don't want to listen. And we're going to tell you a little bit of how to connect the dots. How to get the dog to do what you wanted to do when you wanted to do it. Because it already can do it. Stay tuned, take care of your dogs, people. TV here, Fit Bully TV, like, subscribe, and share. What we have here is Stan working cha cha in some positions. Now Stan, I repeat, as we've said this once before today, how hard is it to get a dog to get into a position? It ain't hard at all, man. They were born knowing how to do it. They know how to sit, they know how to lay down, they know how to walk, they know how to spin, all those things. All we're gonna do is give them a time and a place. There you go. Now, in your experience, are there harder to train dogs than, uh, I guess, easier to train dogs? Maybe I'm asking the question wrong, but no. what's the hardest dog you train? <sighs> Hardest dog I've ever trained. Hmm, I'd probably say a bully. Cause they're they're big enough. If they don't want to do something, they're not. And they're motivated enough when they get their mindset on something. If they don't want to not do it, they won't. So it's just figuring out what they what we needed to do to communicate with them. Shepherds, herders, they're probably the easiest dog because they're looking for a handler to tell them what to do. They're looking for guidance. But when you get these mastiffs these bulldogs that were more independent thinkers back in the day when they were originally bred they don't really care what we got to say so we got to motivate them through different ways so look he's got cha-cha in what we call a sit now she's in it go to put her in the sit now put her in her down Damn. nope down all the way put it butt down there you go butt went down so she's in a down now get her to walk towards you Let's go. now guess what stand now tell her to sit cha-cha sit she knows that one. Pretty now good. tell her to down. Cha cha. Down. Now, down. here's the disconnect, right? You go, well, she just went into a down. Why is she in down? Why doesn't she down? A position and communication, two different things. What's the trick to teaching her to down when you say down? <laughs> um, a lot of repetitions of down her getting the reward and then us extending the time out that she gets the reward when she's in that position. So what we would do is we would tell her sit and then go down, and when she's in that down, down, and holds it, nope, down. <laughs> she's, yeah, she's one of them, down. Yeah. So what we can do is here, is help her stay down. Look at that love, that's right there, love that, that love oh, there, people. That's love there. Cause some of y'all be like, didn't I tell you down? <laughs> you be like, hold on brother, hold on, the dog ain't did nothing wrong, it's send her down, he ain't got to kill it now. <laughs> Cause they ain't gonna learn. She'll shut down before. If you put too much pressure on a dog, especially a dog that's bullheaded like this, y'all seen the videos of her at a young age. She goes and lays in the sun and she doesn't want to deal with us. She don't want to be bothered, man. She's an independent thicker at the finest. And mind you, I left her a little stranded. <laughs> a little stranded. I'm like, I don't know what I'm gonna do with her. I know she's gonna be a part of one braiding and then we're gonna move on. But then we kept seeing things that showed us that without any real instruction, she's the one that keeps leveling up. So you go, hmm, we cannot leave her to the wayside. We must train her. She must be brought into the program. <laughs> so, when you think the dog's capable of the utmost whatever, you're seeing positions and thinking that's the trick. The challenge is really what he does service-wise and that's down, the dog goes into a down. Now, how long does it normally take to teach a dog to get into a down? And why is down important? Uh, I say about 21 days to create a habit and condition response into any dog. So I would give a three week time frame when teaching this. I use down as a safety command. Down is a control position that the dog can lay in for long periods of time. They're comfortable and you know where they're going to be. So sometimes if you're across the street and your dog busts out that front door, you may not want them to come to you. So you can tell them down. They're going to stop and be in that control position. There you go. Now, look, even this right here, he going to get the thing. Look at her. You see that right there? You say, man, she can do a little bite work too. Or people think, hey, my dog's biting on the wedge. It's biting on the sleeve. It's biting on the wedge, we call it. 
and it won't bite nobody, which is a good thing. But she doesn't know who she is. She doesn't know what she's capable of. She don't even know what's going on. She's watched her siblings, her brother, her uh, her cousin. I call Tron her cousin. Cousin, uh, Uncle Tron, that's it. Uncle Tron, Uncle Tron, come out here and get him going a little bit. I'm gonna be like, I got you, this is what y'all do, all right? <laughs> and look, he's doing all the right things to, to, to literally get her going and she won't let go. And you say, that right there is not a trait you often can train to be clear, people. That's something that we bred for. And guess who did the, the first bite stuff? Her mama. Her mama's a nut. <laughs> Which is what I'm hoping for. So now look, she's one. She's gonna take it off. And you know what that tells us? <laughs> <laughs> How much work do we have to do? Well, sounds like we got 21 days of it down. Got her into a sit. Stay is kind of one of those commands that compliments, because if we say sit, the dog should stay. Technically, but they're two different words. But that word, it comes later. Meaning like, hey, when you just say sit, the dog just knows to sit regardless. Mm -hmm. But that's still 21 days. So we're talking about what? 42 days, 42, 42 days of, of pure commitment, discipline, training, because I love that she's biting on things. I love that she's getting motivated. What would you do with a motivated dog like her? Yeah, a lot. <laughs> <laughs> um, just really pushing them to see as far as they can go. And that's the thing. The dogs, you can't force them to do anything that they don't want to do. So we get these dogs climbing up walls. We can't make them do that. I can't correct them to do that. They have to be motivated. Yeah, there you go, people. So look, for now, Remember, a position is not a command. And a command doesn't mean the dogs don't get in the position. Practice makes perfect. And the more you practice, the more perfect you and your dog's bond becomes. And realistically, it's just you guys mastering how to talk to each other and making sure, above all things, that the dog is always safe. We appreciate everyone who's watching. We thank you for paying attention. If you have an American bully, remember, they're rooted in terrier somewhere. And if they've got more massive, they're independent thinkers, but they're also not super prey driven unless they've got more of the terrier so it's all these components that can make challenging can make training the dog a little bit challenging but not impossible unless you do have an impossible and i know some people say all dogs can be trained that is a lie that's like saying all all humans are good people they're just not some people want to see the world burn as he said in the dark night stay tuned take care of your dog staying always thank you my friend yes sir